Hey everyone, Christian here. So a while back, a few of you may remember, I did a video on kind of preventing and stopping uh, your T-tops from leaking. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rename that and call it part one. This is gonna be part two. Doesn't really matter which order you watch them in, but I'll link it at the end of this video. But uh, what I did in that video is pretty much I uh, raised the height of the window to kind of fill in these gaps here where the T-top meets the body. And for the most part, it did help with uh, preventing leaks, or at least it slowed the leak down a lot. Not as much water would enter the car, uh, but it still leaked. And what I do is I kind of have these plastic bags that I put over the seats when I think it's gonna rain, and that's kind of, the water kind of collects in there. And then behind the seats, I have these uh, towels that I got from Amazon just to help absorb water. But uh, yeah, the car still leaks a little bit and I kind of had a breakthrough moment in terms of finding something to help with this. So um, yeah, pretty much the water leaks right here and right here on both sides. And I was doing some uh, reading online and a lot of people swear by this product. Let me just grab it here. It is this uh, Shenetsu Grease and this is actually a Honda part let me see if I can find the number for you there uh, right there Honda part number uh, 08798-9013 you can get this from any Honda dealer I paid about 30 bucks um, it's probably cheaper in the US but uh, pretty much it's just a grease and what you do is you apply it to all of the uh, rubber moldings and weather stripping around the t-tops uh, a lot of people they'll do this but they'll do it with like Vaseline or something this is actually a silicone based grease so it's not going to deteriorate your rubber or anything kind of like those other products will and all you got to do is put a little bit on your finger and just go over all the rubber around the t-tops you want to rub it in and then over time, the rubber is going to absorb it and it's gonna kind of uh, puff the rubber up a bit. But since it's a grease, it's also gonna repel water. And what you really wanna do is you want to get in the little areas uh, right where your T-top meets. You wanna get it on the rubber there. And you wanna get it in the rubber there, right where that circle is. And that's really gonna prevent the water from wanting to drain through these little cracks here. So I've put about two or three coats on over the past uh, week or two. And I'm telling you guys, there has been very little to no water on the seats anymore. I did put that plastic bag on, on a, during a rainstorm and there was like two or three drops. That's it. Passenger side, nothing. The little towels behind the seats were dry. It pretty much solved the leak problem and it's not gonna deteriorate the rubber like those other ones do. So again, if you're looking for something to help with your T-top leaks, I highly recommend this. You can go to your parts, uh, your Honda parts dealer and just ask them for this number. And uh, yeah, apply it to your rubber weather shipping and it should help out a lot. Thought I'd just make a quick video on it for you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in next week's video.